my favorite time of year. It's haunting season. Join me in my witch's kitchen for some spectacular treats. If you dare, join me today to prepare a scary jack-o'-lantern smash pie. This is a delectable dessert for all of your spooking season guests. I've pulled some magic items from my pantry. This is what you'll need. All-purpose baking flour, baking soda and baking powder, a sugar of choice and a powdered sugar, pure vanilla extract, a little clove and ginger, warming cinnamon, applesauce, unsweetened, canned organic pumpkin guts, some lemon zest, and Neufchatel cheese. My ingredients today are an assortment of traditional baking items with some healthier spins. Make sure if you can, you choose a whole wheat pastry flour to add more fiber and phytonutrients to the smash pies. If you'd like to make your own powdered sugar, pick your sweetener of choice, a dried sweetener, blend it on a high speed blender with a little arrowroot starch and voila. We're adding some savory and warming spices full of antioxidants and phytonutrients, unsweetened applesauce to remove additional sugar, and a Neufchatel cheese in place of cream cheese for a slightly lower fat decadent dessert. Let's get started. We'll begin with the dry items first in a large mixing bowl. I'm adding my flour, and then I'll add my baking soda and baking powder. Just a dash of each. And then our spices, cinnamon, ginger, and some ground cloves. Now whisk it all together. Perfect. We'll set this aside for just a moment and grab our other spooky pantry items. You'll need another mixing bowl and you can clear away some of these spooky ingredients. We've got our pumpkin guts and our applesauce, our sugar and our egg. We'll begin with our applesauce. our sugar of choice, and mix together. You should form a thick sort of paste. And now we'll add our pumpkin guts and our egg. and mix together very well. We'll use our whisk to incorporate all of these tasty seasonal ingredients. Ah, uh, a witch! 
witch as old as me often forgets some precious ingredients. Don't forget your pure vanilla extract. Smells bewitching. And now, my friends, it's time we bake. Be sure to set your oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit and prepare some baking trays lined with parchment paper. You'll need a scoop or another measuring utensil so you can portion your pumpkin smash pies. Scoop one ounce each and place on your parchment paper. Let's see if we can't speed things up a bit. And now my friends, it's time we bake. Place your pumpkin smash pie pieces in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes. And now it's time to remove your smash pies from the oven. And while we let our creepy jack-o'-lantern pies cool, we'll prepare our frightening filling. Start by portioning out your powdered sugar, your Neufchatel cheese, vanilla extract, and lemon zest. Grab a large mixing bowl and we'll add the cheese. Make sure it's room temperature. We'll add our lemon zest. We'll add our pure vanilla extract. And finally, our powdered sugar. creating a ghostly cloud in here. Go ahead and mix your filling. It smells delightfully sweet. And now we're ready to build our jack-o'-lantern pies. And now we've come to the end of our witching fun as we put together the final pieces of our spooky jack-o'-lantern smash pies. Be sure your pumpkin pieces are cool enough to touch and we'll spread the center with just a smear of our frightening filling. with your second piece of pumpkin cake, and there's your spooktacular treat. I do hope you'll join me in my witch's kitchen again very soon, but until then, enjoy your jack-o'-lantern smash pies. It seems I haven't lost my magic touch. My pumpkin pies have come to life.